doubled up. Let's go. Doubled up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's up guys? We are my favorite boat ramp again, Salt Run. But I have a special guest today here, <laughs> Matthew. So as you guys know, Crystal is a teacher and one of the teachers, one of the new teachers this year that she works with From New York. Um, realized that she was part of Tug Trash Outdoors <laughs> and we put two and two together and Matthew's a big fan. So we invited him out fishing today. Um, I'm thinking maybe some redfish, but uh, yeah. you never know what we might get into. We're gonna go net some mullet first and uh, see what the day brings us. Hopefully we're gonna put Matthew here on some big old fish. Oh, there's one. Yeah. There's some right there. And then you see that, that all that nervous water up there? Those are all mullet? Those are all mullet. We're in right. what's called the mullet run right now. I'm gonna have you come come back here and stand by Crystal just so I don't whack you with the net. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> I don't want to get whacked by a net. No. Your mom will never let you fish with us again. <laughs> That's a big cast. Yeah. Much bigger than the one I use. This is a 10 foot mm. half inch mesh net. So you got that camera on, babe? Yep. Let's see if you can bump up there any farther. Alright. I don't know how much harder we'll get. I mean, you're in two feet of water right now. Okay, hold on. Ready? You're flashing now. That's called a mohara or like a sand perch. They're okay big too. What's this for a sec? Grab this thing before you poke some. These things are poisonous. They got little spiky barbs all over them. That, um, and if they uh, poke you, it's no fun. Is that what they call the mother-in-law fish or no? No. It's not These guys have it too, right? The whatever this one is. Pinfish are definitely spiky, but they're not poisonous. Yeah, it's like a blue. Wait, which one? Which one am I looking at? That one. That's a pinfish right there. And these are just. It's like a bluegill. They call them pinfish because these are sharp. Mm. It's like a bluegill. It's exactly like a bluegill. There's a little crab in there. Yeah, I see him crawling. Can you get that other mullet? There's two over here. Let the oysters go. <laughs> and we're ready to fish. 20 minutes later. It's because I was grabbing my chicken. Uh -huh. See? That's exactly why. The second you pull out a snack or you start looking oh. at your phone, oh. it's gonna go. I'm telling you. Is that a pretty big mullet? Yeah. yeah. It could just be the mullet swimming around down there. Uh, no, not that big. I don't think it's big <laughs> enough to do that. It's yet. not that big. <laughs> 
Maybe it's the mullet swimming away from something that's trying to eat it. Hopefully. I really like the chunk mullet better. But then you up your chances of sharks. True. You got it. And then reel down. Okay? Yes. You got it. That might be a shark. That's all right. Reel it in. You're good. It's a spicy one. We get the net for you. Good Keep job, going. Matthew. Yeah. You got it. I can yep. tell you Reel down. And. What do we got? Oh! You're all right. You can get up here if you need to. Yeah. I feel like I'll get pulled in. Right. <laughs> He's you... like oh, me. Oh, it's a nice red. It's a nice red. Yeah. Alright buddy. Oh. Ease it in. Ease it up. Alright. Now just pick your rod tip up easy. Rod tip oh. up, rod tip up. He's not ready yet. Nope. You're right, you got it. Alright. He's not he's not quite ready yet. Keep on that motor. Get away from that pile on him. Come back over. There you go. Come on, buddy. We just gotta wear him out a little bit. <laughs> oh, he's a feisty boy. Yeah, I'm right? You're doing great. Jeez. Oh, I got him out of breath. <laughs> you got him. You're Let's good. Go. Just come on, little guy. Keep on Give him motor. time. I'm trying. Come on. Come on, little guy. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> First good one. Job. Right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah. First redfish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. For sure. Let's go. How do we know if it's a big? We're going to measure them. How long is it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what? We're going to measure them. You guys actually oh, yeah. be able to keep this one. So. That's it. Probably the biggest fish I've ever caught. Really? Yeah. Really? I usually. I don't actually. I don't know. For your mom. I've caught. I've caught a pretty big bass once in New York. That was an epic battle, and he's he's a uh, big enough to eat. You, you want to keep him? Keep him? Yeah. All right. We're gonna keep him. <laughs> you want a picture with him though, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to hold it. You don't want to hold it? Can Are you, you sure? Why not? You you can lip them. Yeah, they don't have teeth. Like, I mean, they're little teeth. You want me to hold it and we'll both take a picture? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, I'm going to turn this off. One more. All right. First red fish. Yeah. Definitely. The way that, oh, he took it all. Yeah. You got it? All right. I'm on camera. Hold up. At the bridge. <laughs> bigger. You all right? Good. Can you do it? Or you want a camera? I got this. Okay. You get it. Oh, he's tinier. Your arms are tired. Reel down and then pump up. Oh, you got a big one on. I do. Doubled up. Let's go. Doubled up. <laughs> I don't know. It feels tinier. That's all right. On the red fish. Oh, he's fighting now. This guy's fighting now. I think you got the bigger fish. Oh, Ooh, I got a nice one. Look at mine out there. Which way are you going? Way. Here, hold on. Yeah. I'm trying to get my guy up. Look, I'm going to keep mine kind of in the water. Oh. Get him first. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> I can't. He did. He gone. He, he saw, saw the, the boat. boat. <laughs> he's gone. Oh. He saw that boat and he's gone. This is what it's all about. This is what we came here to do. Doubled up on full range. He's got, he might run again. He feels like he's ready. Bring him, bring him. Yep, up. there he goes. Oh, he's good. Bring him. Oh, oh. No. no. Oh, he came back. All right, tip up. I got mine. <laughs> you might have to come do this. Here. I can't do both. Here. Pull your rod tip up. Yeah. Rod tip up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, man. I got him. Oh, man. Ooh, oh, that's oh, a heavy oh, one. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Look at this. Go. Oh man. That's what it's about. <laughs> yeah. Doubled up, folks. That's How a about nice that? one. Let's get a measure That's on him. Wanted. And That's a measure on him. Yeah, it is. 
So he's gonna be an over slot. Yeah. He's gonna go back in the water. Give him a kiss. I think this one is too. Can we get a picture? Yeah, for sure. Here, let me get the hook out of that one. Hook this up right here for a sec. I don't think this one's gonna be good either. To keep. Let me do it, babe. Oh, I'm gonna okay. go under you here. You just film. Yeah, go under there. I was trying to get the hook out of his mouth. I can just get it. Okay. Right? I was like, no, you get that one. And then the other one started going and I was like, oh <laughs> shoot, camera. <laughs> I think they're active now. Just a little. This is, well, so slack tied, it's like the primo time. Yeah, it was pretty quiet. Oh, oh you're all right. <laughs> it was pretty quiet. And then we just doubled up. Right? All right, so this that, one? He's definitely no, too big. Over. Just give me a picture real quick. Yep. Yeah. Get that picture. Get that picture. Crystal's on. Four fish of the day. We can't even get the other rod in the water. No. I'm literally trying to re-rig. Uh, Matthew, do me a favor, bud. Yeah. Grab that rod and move it to the front. Yeah, just so we don't get tangled up there. Should I reel in a little? Yeah, sure. Woo! Man, it's been non-stop action. As soon as that tide went slack. You got it? Oh, I think that might be the biggest fish of the day. shark? No, it's a big red. Big red. Look at him. Oh, let's go. Come here. Here. There we go. Over the rail, in the pail. Here, grab that. They're so beautiful. Look at their blue tails. Oh, man, we can't even keep a rod in the water right now. Here you go, babe. You want to get a picture? Yeah. Let's show them to the people, though. Pretty blue. People. Probably just a over slot. Beautiful fish. <clears throat> Definitely. No? He's a half inch oh, over. So oh. close to keeping. But here, clip that right there. That's too close. I'm going to get a picture for you. And we'll get him back in the water. Try to attempt to get our other rods in. Woo! Got the hook back here now. Looks amazing. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Tilt his head just a little toward. Oh yeah. Work it. Work it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hold on one second. Hold him up the other way again. Let's get him released. Yeah. You might have to revive him a little, so don't let him go right away. Uh, he's no, gone. He gone. <laughs> plenty, <laughs> plenty left. That's why we use the heavier Woo! rods so we don't wear the fish out so much. But we're gonna bait up again. I think we should have to end So we, we're four reds deep. The tide's gone slack and it's starting to turn now. We're gonna go try a different spot. We're gonna hit the inlet and get out from underneath the bridge. And uh Matt, are you having a good day? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I only got two reds. Was it better than you expected? Definitely, way better. <laughs> Thought I was going to catch like maybe like one tiny red. How hard do the redfish pull though? I thought it was going to pull like a little bass. Like no, a... it did not. It pulled like a massive bass. I'm, used, <laughs> I'm so used to bass fishing, I'm a freshwater fisherman. Awesome. Well, I'm glad it all came together. <laughs> Hurry up. Hold on a second. What, hey, what time is it? Cookie time. <laughs> Go ahead and grab them out of there. We were so busy catching fish. <laughs> we, we called it cookie time and then we caught all those fish. Cookie time.
Matthew didn't know that Publix chocolate chip cookies are my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> he just happened just leave to it like that. It won't fall. There you go. Yeah, well, you say that until it falls on him like it fell on me. Well, I don't think he'd be mad at me because he got some pretty epic fish already. But look at these. Oh, yeah. That's I'm digging in first. Sorry, man. Here, hold that. Remember the time Gatorade. that Mullet... I'm stealing two cookies. Do you remember the time Mullet ate the cookies and he literally ate all of just the chocolate chip ones yeah. and not the sugar cookies? It's my favorite. Just push on the spring a little bit and then pull down. Whoops, see? Sorry. That could be good luck. I think I want one of each. Oh no. How'd you do that? Here we go. Here we go. What? It's taking a good bounce. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's just saying that. You think I say stuff like that. <laughs> but I'm always right. That's the thing. That's something I would say, but I'm not right. You ready to go out the inlet? Yep. All right. Here we go. We're not going to go that way, though. We're going to sneak out this side over here. Everybody hold on. <laughs> Could be a little bumpy here. On your ass. We gotta get your fish. Let's see. Ah. I'm trying to get the fish and I'm trying to film because my camera person has always disappeared when the important stuff happens. Oh, I got it. Nice fish. Three spots. One, two, three. Are you gonna hold him now? He didn't want to hold him for the picture, but he ain't going nowhere, man. I know he's not. No? It's okay, you don't have to. It's a nice fish. Mm -hmm. Beautiful St. Augustine redfish, and uh, I'm gonna show him how to knock the sides off of this thing. You know, to uh, fillet them, you do have to touch them though, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously. All right. I'm going to wait for my camera lady. The toadfish cutting board uh -huh. comes with a built-in sharpener, which is nice. But this fish is too big. He's a 25-inch beautiful St. Augustine redfish. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to show him how I like to well, clean him. he's got a double spot. He's got one, two... Three. Nice. So, what do you think? Was that, that up until that point, that was the hardest pulling fish you'd ever caught, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, about five minutes later, you got one that pulled a little harder than that. <laughs> it was a little bigger than this one. The other ones were, like, 28, 29 inches. Mm -hmm. So, we, we got them back in the water. Mm -hmm. But, redfish have big, thick scales. So, you got to come in and... You don't want to cut against the scales, you kind of get in between them like that. Mm -hmm. And then take the tip of your knife and you want to cut out. So you're not cutting the scales, you're cutting out from under the skin out. And see that knife will just glide. Mm -hmm. If you try to saw on that, it wouldn't do that. Clean your scales off. And then I like to use my finger as a guide. Get it in there and I just feel his skeleton is his bone structure and right down the back so just like that a couple times that way come down over his um, spinal cord and then angle back down so you get all the meat then look at them big old scales too yeah. that'll dull your knife up quick come and then you angle up 
and pop those pin bones. Then coming right down his rib cage, like so. It's a nice hunk of meat. Yeah. And you've got a redfish fillet. Now, again, those scales are crazy big. Oh, yeah. And redfish have tough skin, so you can really skin them pretty, pretty easily. And I'm really just, once I get it, I'm pulling with the skin. I'm just holding my knife in one spot and I'm pulling his skin. Nice. And that is how you get that meat off. Now, for the record, Matthew, you do not know how to fillet a fish, correct? Mm -hmm. No, so, <clears throat> for Matthew, this video is going to be very purposeful and educational for him. Anyways. Because not everybody knows how to fillet a fish. It's catch clean cook, that's what we do. <laughs> Wouldn't be a catch clean cook. If there was clean. Yeah. <laughs> It'd just so. be catch cook. And which, I mean, people do. People do. I haven't done one yet. I've been doing this for a year and I haven't done just a catch and cook. I think I'm gonna do a frog video pretty soon. And I think I'm gonna have to, you can't even show clean in a frog. No. My last frog video, they took down or it's it's up, but they didn't they didn't monetize it or whatever. Which so whatever. It's so hot out right now. Like this fish was iced really well, but I can literally feel them uh warming up in the sun. And they must wonder too. Every time we clean fish, yeah. this table's in a different spot in our yard. And it's literally because we just drag it around to the <laughs> shade. The shade. <laughs> and knock this one off. How do you think you're going to cook it? Uh, I'm probably going to put it on a grill and make fish tacos. Who are you going to share it with? My dad and my brother. My mom does not like fish. Oh, no. more for you guys. <laughs> just like that. Cut that piece out and that's a boneless filet right there mm -hmm. i recommend chef paul perdome's um redfish magic. redfish magic blackening seasoning it's the best but you can do whatever you want it's your fish bro all right we're back at home and we're in the kitchen and this will be the first video where I don't do a cook for you guys because I wanted to send Matthew home with his redfish to eat with his family. We ordered a pizza. Yeah. And what do we got? Chicken parm sub. And, and this is. Cheesecake sub. Got it. They got to see the cheese. Oh. The cheese is sticking. From Romano's on the beach in St. Augustine. I'm not affiliated with them, but they're good. <laughs> they're so good. It looks like I got a little bit of sun today. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you thought this style of video was cool. And um, see you on the next one.